Ghost is real, hallelujah. The gifts of the Spirit are real, hallelujah. The blood of the Lamb cleanses and washes and makes us brand new again, hallelujah to God. God will lift you up. He's not against you. The devil's been lying to somebody. God is not against you. God is for you. He's telling this woman, I'm for you. This woman said to him after this, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he has come, he will tell us all things. Jesus didn't bite an eye. Jesus said, I that speak to thee, I'm he, I'm the one. And she knew that. Because I want everybody in here to know something about Jesus. And maybe you know. But I'm going to tell you again. There's never been a man speak like this man. I can imagine every hair on her body standing up. I can imagine her getting weak under the power of God just like in the garden when they came out to get him at night with, with staves and swords and lanterns and, 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 and torches and came out to get him between 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. And, he, and he, again they asked hey, Jesus of Mary. He said, I am he. And they all fell down backward. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. He's still that same God. When he speaks, praise God. You can't stand in his place. Brother Bill's done told you how it is. When he speaks to the devil, the devil's got a back. When he speaks to the problem, the problem's got to flee. When he says it, and he says it, and he says it, it'll stand firm forever, my God. When he speaks his word, things will move out of the way, hallelujah. Things will tumble out of the way. Because he has all power and authority tonight. He has all power and authority in our life. If you believe it, you ought to thank him tonight that he didn't leave you in the hands of the devil. God didn't want you to have the second best in this life. Satan is second best. He can give you everything in this world. He can, he'll give you the world to keep you away from Jesus, but, he, but your punishment will be in hell with him. I don't want that. He's defeated. He's a deceiver. Thank God tonight. She got, you know, she, when she came to the well, one of the most important things that she had for her family or, or whoever she was with then, she had this thing. It was, I preached not many times. She had a water pot. And the water part was vital. They had to have, the, they had, they'd get the water in. You know, she came out at this particular time of the day because, you know, she was ashamed. But let me tell you something. When you go to God, I don't care who you are, I don't care what you've done. If you, when you go to God, listen to me. The way you got to do it, dude. you can't do it your way. You got to do it God's way. When you go to God and you tell Him that I'm done with this, that I've repented, get up and repent and be done with it and don't turn around and do it again. This woman said, I'm done. She left her water pot. Amen. I, I left my water pot one day. I left my water pot with God. I left my filth with God. I left my sin with God. I, I left who I used to be with God. I left the old man with God. I laid down my water pot. I didn't need it anymore. You don't need your water pot anymore. God said, just leave it here. You're not going to need it no more. She didn't go back in the city, coward. She went back to the men in the city, to the men in the city, and began to preach and said, you need to come and follow me now. Let me show you a man that told me everything I've ever done. Is this not the Christ, hallelujah? The Son of the living God, the Savior of the world. Is this not him? Is this not the one? Is this not the one? that loves me. All of her life, listen, all she was truly looking for <laughs> was love, acceptance. I said all that she ever wanted, I know this from the heart of God, all she ever wanted, she didn't want to be used. The devil, let me tell you right now, he's a user, church. He's like the two horse leeches. The Bible says she has two daughters crying, give, give. That's the devil. He's a user. He'll use you up. I said he'll use you up and he'll cast you away. But God said, I'm going to use you for my glory. I'm not only going to use you, I'm going to, I'm going to go, you're going to go from glory to glory with me. You're going to go from one place to another with me. I'm going to take you one day home. I'm going to, I've got a mansion prepared for you. I've, I've, I've got streets of gold, walls of jasper and gates of pearls. I've got rivers and mountains and things you've never seen. And not only are you going to go there, I'm not ever going to be done with you because I love you. This lady began to realize, Joel, that there was something 
more, that there was something better, that there was something that she desired more than anything in her life. And when she heard the voice, like the song said, she heard the voice of the Savior, hallelujah, calling her, calling her home, saying, I am He, I love you, I've, I've redeemed you, you can worship me again. You don't have anything to be ashamed of. I forgive you. Go and tell the men of the city to come out here and we'll start revival right here by this well. We've got to have somebody that'll start revival. We've got to have somebody, praise God, that's got enough backbone to say no to the things of the world and no to the devil, praise God, and say, I'm going to be the one. I'm going to be the one. I'm going to be the one, God. Here am I. Send me. My God, somebody shout in this place. I said shout hallelujah to God. Shout in this place. Tonight, when she went back, they all came to him. I wish they wouldn't have stopped there. I wish they would have gone on and, and told what happened. But I can see it by faith. They all repented. They all started getting saved. The power of God came upon all of them. He healed them. The revival started right there by Jacob's well. Their lives would never be the same. The men of them city was just as guilty as she was. And vice versa. We're all guilty without the blood. We're all on our way to hell. We're all lost. We all can drink of Jacob's well as much as we want. We can drink of it 24-7, 365 days a week. But we will never be satisfied until God gives us to drink. Amen. We'll never. You'll never be satisfied. I know it. You know it deep down. You will never be satisfied without that touch from God. My God, somebody. You'll never be satisfied without Him. But I wonder why it takes so much now for people to come to God. It didn't used to be that way. Church, listen to this preach. It didn't used to be that way. It never was that way when it, back in the early 90s. People would run to the altars. People would flood the altars. People would come to God. And, they, and they're coming to God now, but nothing like they used to because the devil has seared them. But this woman shows us that thank God there's still one that's going to listen. There's still somebody that's going to come. God still wants to help somebody. He still wants to touch that one. Amen. He could have said, I will just bypass this well. Thank God he didn't bypass me and you. We sitting in our place. Well, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Give him praise. When we were sitting in our place, when we were on our way into the pit, and we were sitting there in the heat of the day with no covering on us, and we're sitting there looking all lily white when we're just as sinful as sinful could be. And God didn't leave us there to the devil. I'm thankful for that more than anything. More than it. I'm preaching, yeah, I'm preaching here tonight. Thank you, Lord, for using me. That's fine for using all. But it's his blood that saved me. It's his mercy that allowed me to be saved, Brother Gary. I could have been in hell tonight. I could be burning since I was 17. But God said, no, you can't have him. He belongs to me. You belong to God tonight, somebody. You belong to the king tonight. Hallelujah to God. Well, glory to God. He belonged to the king and nobody else. I told you the other night, he's got his hand prints all over your life. Just look at your belly. You're talking about flowing out of your belly. There's living water in that. But you know, there's water in there. A bunch of it. And God did that. I didn't. He just allowed me to be partaker of it. But you know what happened? God did that. And God did that for you. You weren't in here the other night. I was mad. I was talking about when you, when you brought you up here that night. We told you you're going to have a baby and you lost that baby. I got, I got mad. I said, God, what's this? He said, next time she'll have another here real soon. You tell him, remember? And he said, when she does, she'll carry it full term. Hello. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, somebody. I feel God. Stand up and give our God praise. Our God's on the throne. He knows all about it. He sees the future. He sees where you're going. And most of all, He loves you. Look at me. Listen to me. He loves you. Listen, He loves you. I don't think you're listening. Unclog your ears. He loves you right where you are. Come on. I'm sweating a little bit tonight. I've worked up a little sweat. This is most I've hopped around on my leg in 16 days. I'm thankful, Brother Tommy, I can hop on my leg tonight. Because I've been hurting on that knee, boy. I'm telling you what. Bless God. I told my wife, I said, that devil, that doggy gate devil, we'll remove that thing out of the house from now on. I'm not going to trip over it again. Amen. 
Come on, will you, everybody raise your hands to God. Come on, let's give him praise tonight. Kathy will, you, Kathy, will you put me a little bit of music on? Man, will you come up here? Hallelujah. Will you, will you raise your hands to God? Stand right here. Come here, stand right here. Amen. Come here. Come here. Come with some of you women with me. I want to give God praise tonight for what he's shown me about this woman. Walked in the door tonight. <clears throat> and she, I've already told her, but, I, but for the sake of everybody here, because the Bible said the spirits of the prophets are subject for. I've never met this lady in my whole life. When she walked in here tonight, I knew that she, God was going to do something great for her. Two things that He's going to do for her tonight. I've already, I know what they are, but I want to tell you what, what He showed me. When she walked in, I saw her in my spirit. And what she was doing is she was, first of all, she was folded a sheet. And then I saw her folding towels. And she'll tell you, I, I spoke to her privately without anybody knowing. And God told me, He said, Son, this woman here, He said, she's worked in housekeeping. Is that true, ma'am? And and I've never met her. And I began to tell her what God was going to do tonight. That's why and this, this word, every bit of it, was for her tonight. Tonight, I want you to look up to heaven and say, Lord, I give you my life back. I give you my life back. I rededicate my life to you. I rededicate my life to you. And the Lord told me to tell you, listen, the power of God is getting ready. Be, be ready because it's getting ready to come upon you. The Lord told me to tell you, financially, you've struggled. Is that true? And He told me to tell you, listen, that beginning today, I don't know how long it's going to take. That I don't know. He's God. But He told me to tell you, beginning today, you ready? The power of God's getting ready. Come on, you beginning today. This is my prayer. God said, I want you to pray two things for her. Number one, He said that she will have the power of God in her life. Amen. And number two, you will have favor. Raise your hands. Here we go with me. And there it is. Come on, let's give our God praise. <laughs> Cover her up and pray for her right there. Brother Gary. Josh, will you go get me? Here, I got some right here. Come here, Brother Gary. Josh, come up here with me. Ivan, come here. Come here, Gary. Stand right here. Stretch your hands this way. Brother Gary. Mm -hmm. Lord's going to hear you tonight. He's going to hear your eyes. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready, brother. I want you to keep them open for just a minute. They're going to be open. You ready? Yeah. Hallelujah. Wide-eyed for sure. Amen. There it is. Touch! <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. You can see, Gary, you're healed. You're healed immediately. I knew it was going to happen. I give God the praise. Come on, somebody give our God praise right now. There's four, there's four things that, that I want to share with you before I go. And everybody just can stand here with me. Number one is God never gives up on people. Ever. He doesn't give up on anybody. And secondly, he's, he's not like a lot of men. There's a lot of preachers, you can't, what I say, you can't access them. You know, you can't get close to them. Come on, somebody help me for a minute. On, he's, not, he's not like that. Hold, st stand your, hold your hands back up here just a minute. Thirdly, when he moves, he moves and he does it quickly. Yeah. But fourthly, it's all for his glory, not for man's glory. Amen, brother. I want you to pray. Is your back? Have you had some pain in your back? No, I've had tooth pain now. Tooth well, pain. I've had a little pain in my back this week. <laughs> there I it have. is. That's what I felt, ma'am. Where is it? Is your lower back or back? Because I'm not, I'm not that good yet. But it's I know my you lower back, yeah. Amen. Lay your hand on her lower back. Stretch your hands this way. God's going to heal you tonight. I want you to receive it, okay? Amen. I'm going to anoint her with oil. And God, while you're at it, just heal her teeth too. Stretch your hands this way. Hallelujah. Just heal her all the way around. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, you said you're going to do a work in this woman's life, and you're not going to do it halfway. God, I anoint her tonight in the name of Jesus. And God, I speak to every disc, every muscle, every vertebra. I speak, God, to all pain in her body. Loose her now and let her go. There it is. Hallelujah. Even sinuses, God, even open her sinuses up. Thank you, Lord. 
Come on, let's give God praise. Let's give God praise. When he, when he finished with this woman, he, the, when he finished with her,